Hello Unity enthusiasts, my name is Roman and in these next upcoming videos we will be doing some project based learning where we will be creating ourselves a custom editor tool that does something rather useful. Well, I find it rather useful so hopefully you will too. We'll be creating an editor tool which allows us to apply a opacity and tint gradient to an existing texture or create a texture itself which has an opacity and tint gradient applied to it. Let me demonstrate this in a game made with Unity that you might be familiar with. So in Genshin Impact, if you take a look at these buttons on the right side, <coughs> they have an opacity gradient applied to them. As you can see on the left hand side it is more opaque but as it progresses towards the right more it becomes more transparent until it eventually fades out. You can also see in this dialog box here that it also has a texture with an opacity gradient applied to it. You can see as it at the top it is more opaque and leading towards the bottom it fades out to zero. But it also does this going outwards to the right and the left. So this is the tool we'll be creating. I call it the image alpha editor. Basic functions allows you to create a texture of any dimensions you require. You can change the opacity of that texture, but also tint that texture. And you can also apply a gradient to the texture from existing gradients, which you can modify with um, Unity's built in gradient tool. So this is the gradient from goes left to right. I call it gradient right, the opposite way, right to left, up down to bottom, direction from bottom to top. I'm just going to demonstrate how this would work to sort of recreate the examples we saw in Genshin Impact. And not only can we create a texture, we can also load an existing texture in. I'm going to load this button here. I'm going to make it fade from left to right with a full alpha value on the left side and zero to the right. So I'm going to apply the gradient. I've already created a preset gradient, which is this one here. So you'll see up from the top, the, the alpha goes from 255. In the center, it stays at 255, but at 90%, it fades off to zero. And if we can just alter this, you'll see it also make change in the window. I can make that go the other direction. And we can apply other weird gradients we've created ourselves. So yeah, something like this. And on top of applying a gradient, you can further tint it. Usually it's just best to apply a tint to an already white texture. Next I'll just demonstrate how we could similarly do this dialog box here just by creating a, a custom texture and applying a gradient in two directions. Next I'll just do a simple demonstration of creating a texture which is gonna sort of like mimic how this one was created where the opacity increases as you go outwards. So I'll just create a texture of about 500 width and 300 height. Um, I'll tint this down to 50. And that's all I'll apply a gradient going from bottom to top. Oh, no, actually, I'll do gradient left to right. Uh, this is the texture of well, a gradient I've already created. It starts with 0, it's around 200 at 25%. I'll just round that up. And 200 at 75%, back down to 0. Now I can export this texture. I'll save it here. 
uh, in order to use this texture again in here, I just have to mark this as read write. I'll just also set this to Sprite 3D UI. Now I can load the texture. And this time I'll apply a different gradient. But we're just going to go from top to bottom. And as you can see, we've sort of like been able to mimic this dialogue gradient texture. Those are just a couple of use cases, but I also find it rather useful to just be able to create a plain texture of any color. Kind of level of transparency that I require, which I might use for any programmatic application. The amount of files required to create this custom editor window isn't that much. So we have one C sharp script, one compute shader, one UI document, one style sheet, and a checkerboard texture, which I'll just supply to you guys. So that rounds off the overview for this editor tool we'll be creating. If you haven't already, like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell, and I'll see you in the next video so we can get this started. Peace.